soulmate controls my brain or my hand? Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math, so um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's gonna be controlling. Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I, um, I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. My gosh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye-bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough. I'll try it on. All right, you know what? This dress is pretty cute. I like it. Okay, okay, we have to go to the party now. Hey Brie, nice dress! Thanks! <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey! Relax, beautiful. I I better go. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that? It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous. Great excuse. I'm serious, you could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new lipstick. I am gonna get ready to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. Daniel, will you be my Valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> <gasps> princess Elizabeth. Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Ugh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no, they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. <laughs> This is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you. You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, Princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, Your Majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, Mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, Your Highness. You can play all the games you want, Princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. 
Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, Princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name. William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promise to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother, Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth, you're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart? Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding! That prince is evil! William? He escaped? And he's lying! No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me! No! Her heart! Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William! His last heart... it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... you die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart, do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William. Elizabeth. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay... What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Want to ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You'll never miss any American Girl stuff. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranate. No pomegranate. No! No, 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 no pomegranate! What?
red. What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <laughs> see? You see? <laughs> Hold her. No, no, no. Oh. Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Get adopted by a fireman or a billionaire? I think we should go with fireman because he's going to keep us safe. Yeah, I think so too. No billionaire. Hi, girls. Hi. So, what are your names? I'm Margo. I'm Edith. And this is Agnes. Nice to meet you. Well, this is my home. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. This place is kind of creepy. It is. There's nothing to watch. Did you hear that? I did. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I think it's coming from over there. <sighs> there was definitely someone down there. I told you, Agnes, we should have picked the fireman. Excuse me, I need to speak with you. Me? Yes, you. I have a secret that you need to know. So, what's your secret? I have a secret lab, and I know you girls saw it. No, we didn't. Don't lie to me. I have cameras everywhere. I saw you. Creepy much? Okay, maybe we did. Well, I can't have you telling anyone about the lab. Uh-huh. Sounds like I should be calling CPS. No, I need you girls to help me with my plan. And what plan is that exactly? Go get your sisters and follow me. Whoa, what is that? Is that a laser? No. Who are you? I'm the doctor you saw in the lab. Well, what is this thing? My greatest achievement, a shrink ray. And we need human subjects to test it on. The doctor and I created this together. Wait we... a minute, so you're telling us that the only reason you adopted us was so you could use us as your lab rats? Not cool, dude. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. Actually, we weren't asking. Run! Wait, wait! We don't want to try out your machine. Yeah! It's okay, girls. You don't have to try it if you don't want to. We don't? No. But, sir, we only adopted them because- That's enough, Doctor. We're not forcing them to do anything. Thanks for taking us to get food, sir. Girls, please, you don't have to call me sir. Can we call you dad? Agnes? I was just asking. You can call me whatever you like. I feel like Darren likes us. I like him too. But that doctor, she creeps me out. Yeah, same. Good night, girls. Good, Good night, night, dad. Dad? dad? <laughs> Hello. I need you to come with me. It's time for you to try out the machine. Mm. Would you stop knocking on the glass? You're not getting out of there. Now watch this. I'm going to demonstrate the shrink ray. Isn't that amazing? Now, to test it on you. Margo, let her go! No, guys, run! Come here, girls. Stop! Doctor, what is going on? Dad, help us! Oh, be quiet. He's not even your real dad. Hey! That's enough. Let's see how you like it. Close your eyes, girls. No! Well, do you know, it works. Darren, you can't do this! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for saving us. Of course. And I destroyed the machine. What? what? But I thought you said it was your greatest achievement. Actually, no, girls. My greatest achievement was adopting you. Are you still working for that billionaire? Yes, Mom. I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake? Oh. Hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny. I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry, I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired.
Jenny, the news. Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor. He has amnesia. Do you know what this means? <sighs> Not really. You can manipulate him. You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind. I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. You don't have enough money and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes. I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I, I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh, no. Well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see. Follow me. You. I feel like I know you. Oh, babe, your poor head. It's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow! <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. Where is my home? I will show you, and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy, but he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. Uh, yeah, you know what? Would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any- Daddy! Uh, hi, kid. <laughs> my name's Kitty Silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. <laughs> Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy! I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card! You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Good morning, how did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you, it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. Now go get ready for work, and I'm gonna go make breakfast, okay? Honey, I'm home. Daddy, are those toys? They sure are. I got your favorite animal. A tiger. Mommy, he, he remembered. And for your sister, a bunny. And for your mother, flowers. Babe, these are my favorite. How, how did you know? A memory came to me of you picking some for me. Mr. Blake, I picked these for you. They're my favorites. Everything's still pretty fuzzy. Peekaboo! <laughs> she has your smile. I have a question. Yes? If we had two kids together and we're in love, then why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Well, I think now I want to. He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he... Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I... You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry. I should have never... <clears throat> Mommy, where's daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but... But it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> daddy! Jason? I knew you'd come back. Where's daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but... But it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Jenny, these past few weeks with you and your kids made me understand there's more to life than just money. It turns out the person who brought me the most joy was right in front of me all along. I just didn't realize it. When I said I wanted to marry you, I meant it. I bought this for you last night. He wants to marry you, Mommy. Now we can be a real family. When I come to a party, uh-uh. If you want to come, you have to talk. <laughs> no writing stuff down either. Give me that. Aw, <laughs> she's getting sad. Hey, give that back to her. 
There. Here. What's your guys' deal? Relax, new guy. We were just playing around. Yeah, it's not our fault her voice is locked. You know, she's the only girl in the whole school that hasn't kissed her soulmate. It's a small school. She can just text what she wants to say. Actually, no. Her parents don't even let her have a phone. Don't listen to them. Here's some paper. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, you okay? You're kind of shaking. Is everything all right? Do you want me to open it? Stella! What are you doing? You're not supposed to talk to boys. Let's go. Let's go! If the world was ending, you come over right. Her talking to a boy today. Probably trying to find her soulmate. But that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Stella? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you alright? Aw, uh, you haven't kissed your soulmate yet, have you? Well, are you in some sort of trouble? Stella! There you are! What's going on? Are these your parents? Oh, stop it. Come here. So sorry about this. Whoa! Time to go. What did you do? He did what had to be done. He's gone. And it's your fault. Anybody home? That's the boy from her school. I'll take care of this one. She's freaking out over here. What'd you do with the boy? Relax. I sent him home. I told him you were asleep. He seemed worried. Have you been asking people for help at school? You better not be, because you know what will happen if you do. Now tomorrow... You're gonna smile and go to school, and if your mom catches you talking to that boy again, he's gonna meet the same fate as the truck driver. Stella, I want to talk to you about the note. Wait, I think I know how to help you. I'm pretty sure that you and I are, uh, soulmates. You think so too, right? That's why you gave me the note, so I could help you get your voice. You need me to kiss you. Hey, it's okay, I know you're nervous, but it's worth a shot, right? Come on, you gotta unlock your voice. One kiss. Did it work? I don't know. Hey, we're soulmates, all right. There's something that I have to tell you. What do you want to tell me? The woman that's coming, she's not my real mom. I was taken from my real parents. What? Why would they do that? Because they wanted my- Stella, you're kidding me. Guess you didn't learn your lesson. Hey, let's go. No, you can talk? Wait a minute, shouldn't you be happy for her? I am happy. It's just that my daughter, she's deeply troubled. Don't listen to anything that she- Oh, hush. Ow. Hey, is she alright? She's okay, but like I said, she's not so well in the mind. Can we have a moment? Uh, okay. No, wait. Let go. I have my voice back now. It's over, Karen. Everyone is gonna know the truth about what you- About what you- Shh, that's enough. Ugh, I don't know what we're gonna do. The little brat kissed her soulmate. Well, she's not gonna stay asleep for long. I think her soulmate might have called the- Hey, this is the police. Open the door. Shit, we have to hide her. Good news, I got the cops to leave. Great, because she wouldn't stop squirming. Ugh, you guys can't just hide me here forever. She's right. Well, do you got any bright ideas? Legend says if a girl's soulmate dies, the girl loses her voice permanently. You're going to call your soulmate and invite him over. No, I won't. Yes, you will, or you're never going to see your real family again. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for confusing you today, and I just wanted to tell you that I'm fine, and I was wondering if you wanted to come over. Yeah, sure. Such a good girl. I think he's here. Uh, she's right there. Stella! What's going on? Run! Honey, plug yourself in. I will. Okay, relax. Where even is my charger? Eh, I'll find it later. Mom, I'm at 1% and I can't find my charger anywhere. Haley, I told you! I don't feel so good. No, hang on. That was the third time this has happened this month. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks for saving me. Honey, I've been working on a new invention. I want to show it to you. A bracelet? It's a portable charger that allows you to never run out of battery. It's finally ready for use. Really? Yep, I made it just for you. 
But Haley, don't tell anyone what it does, okay? Nice bracelet. Thanks. Do I know you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Henry Powers. How did you do that? Huh. I was about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to come with me. I'm not coming with you anywhere. Oh, yes you are. What? How are you? How did you take my power? Ugh, I need that bracelet. Mom, we have a problem. What, honey? Well, there was like this crazy guy at school, and he had electric powers or something, and he was sucking the battery life from me. What? He did? Yeah, but don't worry, your bracelet protected me. That must have been a power sucker. A what? There are people who recharge themselves by taking other people's battery life. Do you know where he went? No, I ran away, and then he... What was that? I think he might have followed you. Go, hide. No, I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. You can't hide from me. Leave us alone. Hand over the bracelet. Not a chance. Okay, then. Guess I'll drain her battery. Mom! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna drain all her battery life. No, okay, you can have it. Don't. If he gets that, he'll be unstoppable. She's at 2%. It's her or the bracelet. I choose her. Take it. Finally. Now let her go. All right. A deal's a deal. <gasps> Mom. Mom, give me your hand. Not so fast. I'm not done with you, kid. I decided I want more power. What? Leave her alone. I'm taking her battery life. This is for being a little brat. Stop. Mom, go plug yourself in. Otherwise, your battery's gonna die, too. Say goodbye to your daughter. No. Uh, uh. Haley, grab the bracelet. No. Why, you little... Ugh. Give me that back! No! My power! Ugh. You did it. Mom, you're at 1%. Here, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Come here.